<sighs> okay, so to get ready for this, we usually like to do a little bit of meditation and centering. So why don't you close your eyes, take a nice, deep, soft breath in, let it out. <sighs> And again, and find yourself coming a little more fully into your body, breathing down into your feet, relaxing in the chair, seeing how your breath comes into your belly and brings you into this moment right now. Each inhale, each exhale, the rise and fall of your chest, the attention that comes to your heart. And you may begin to feel a little softening of your heart as you feel the love in the room. Experience the love of the entourage, the love of God around you, the love of spirit. All of those things that brought you here today, who you are as a family that creates this message, that brings in this specific message of love and honoring from Cryon. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. There are those, again, who are so used to listening to these beginning messages that they start to see a pattern of what we would say at the beginning of a meeting of old souls, of light workers, who really don't know what to expect. And so I tend to say the same things to different people, different humans. But I say it with the same context of love. Some of you are going to feel that an entourage is pouring into this place that knows you who is beautiful. It's a safe place to hear. There are those in the room who came for something today, and I know who they are, and I know what you came for, and I'm delivering it. I'm going to talk about something tonight that is so esoteric. It may not be a long message either. Something so beautiful. It starts to enhance the multidimensionality of your spirit. There are so many things lurking. I use the word lurking because it means something is hiding. And the something that is hiding is amazing. Wisdom and knowledge, healing, situational awareness. Those who came for something today, I know your name, I know the situation, I know what is going on. And I don't know it as a higher power, I know it as a brother, as a sister, I know it as somebody in love with you, I know it from the creative source which is inside you. I do not stand apart from you, I stand within you. This entourage that comes into the room, postures the room, in a very healing stance, and that is, the, that is the, the mode of the day. It's a healing day. It's a healing day based upon those who came to sit in the chairs. I know you. I know some of you are really going through it. Some of you have gone through it. I know that there are, there are those in the room who feel stuck. I know who's here. I know that there are issues here, and you've come for answers. And I want you in this moment to relax with this and drop the anxiety just for a moment if you can 
And if you want to just put your hand on your heart and say, thank you, I want to tell you, this is where you belong. Right now. This energy is a healing energy. It is synchronicity. It's why you came. There are energies in the room that are designed with your name on them. Boy, are you lucky. <laughs> and that refers to what was just taught by my partner about the fact that light workers and old souls often have guidance. And it appears as guidance that's invisible, misunderstood, chance, luck, and none of those things apply. You find yourself in the right place at the right time because you ask for it at some level. You've said, this is what I want in this life, I want to be guided with the intuition that is inside me and available to the right place to find the healing. You're in the right place. There are some of you who are about to sit down and go to lunch with the others. I speak to about those in this room. You tend to group with people you know. Not all of you came with the number of people that would then sit at around a table. You're going to meet people you don't know. I want you to look around the room even before you sit down perhaps. Are there those who should meet you today who have some answers you didn't expect? It's synchronicity. It's planned. You're here for each other. Did you figure that out yet? You're not apart. You don't know each other in 3D. You don't know the names. But you are collectively attached with the strings of love, like a harp where the strings don't even know each other. But when they're strung, they play the beautiful, beautiful, sonorous harmonies of the earth. That's who you are. And you've come here seemingly by chance, sitting by chance. And there isn't anything called chance here. There are those in this audience who will meet one another and find out things. Don't be embarrassed to take a name or an address or speak to them about why you're here because this is family. It is the reason that my partner has created lunch. And it's not to eat. It's so you can meet each other. This is a principle not of metaphysics. It's a principle of human life and of love. It can happen anywhere with any human being if they are tuned to it. But when you have old souls meet together, they're all tuned to it, if you'll allow it. That's what the channeling is about right now. It's a healing day because I know who's here. There are situations here that you're waiting to have cleared. There's health here that you're waiting to have cleared. There's mysteries that you don't know why they're happening or what's going on. There's anxiety here. Few of you are here to enjoy the energy. Most of you are here to find a solution. I know who's here. And dear ones, it is the greatest place you could be on a Sunday. To sit in the energy with the others, to have spirit with you in this way, to relax for just a few hours and love one another and see each other and greet the God within. There's nothing like it. That's why you're here. I'll be back and we'll talk about other things. But for now, I want you to understand the energy is here for you. It's not apart from you. It doesn't sit on a stage from you. It's in your lap. It's inside you. It knows you. It shakes your hands. It takes you. It hugs you. It holds you. It heals you. You're not alone. And so it is. So... 
Why don't you close your eyes and take a breath with me. Big inhale. Ah. And another inhale. And let your body soften. Relax. Ah, your shoulders, just like the back of the chair supports you, the bottom of the chair. Feel where your feet are on the floor. And let the top of your head just gently float up, like your head is weightless, your neck is soft. And just feel the gentleness of your breath coming in and out. And know that you don't need to have a thought about anything. And just let your awareness be in this moment of healing potentials, healing possibilities, and the energy around you of love. Because that's where that healing comes from, is the energy of honoring and love that Cryon has for humanity. And as you let that honoring enter your heart, feel it soften and expand. Feel a warm, glowing place there. And know that in this very moment, the arms of spirit embrace you and honor you and are ready to give you that great gift of healing and a look at your own divinity. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Channeling is not always the same. From my partner, it's not always the same. The messages are sometimes tailored for those in the chairs. The agreement with my partner is that all recording will be done of all messages all the time. Sometimes they are so personal that we stop the process, mysterious as it may be to him as an engineer, why it doesn't work. But he goes through the motions of recording anyway. Some may listen to this message that we give in these last moments of the day. And they will not feel what you're going to feel here in the chairs because they haven't been here. Now some of you are aware because you can see my partner's field that when he stands to give you his lectures I'm here with him. The idea of sitting in a chair and throwing a switch for Cryon went away years ago for him. He lives with me. I live with him. There's a marriage here. There's a focus here. There's an agreement here. That as he speaks anywhere, I can pop in. And I can give direction. And some will hear it and some will not. 
Some will see the difference because when I come in, his aura changes. The field around him called the aura, which is more than what you think an aura is, repatterns itself instantly. They come and they go. Some of you are sensitive and you can tell it, you can see it. He's been channeling all day. <laughs> I know who's here. Those who may hear this who are not here, may not understand these few words I have and what we're going to say and what we're going to do. Sometimes the channelings have profound information that are new historical processes just coming, future and predictions, and some of them are not. Some of them are just us sitting here together loving each other. Discussing what is happening in the room and, and those who will listen later is like, like flies on the wall. That's one of these channelings. For those listening to this after the fact, I want you to be aware. You're just listening to what is going on in a room full of light workers. Because this is for them. You in the chairs right now. Not for the others. There's a wind blowing through this room of spiritual purpose. And it's touching all of those who want to feel it. We never said those words before. Sometimes there's a synchronicity of light workers and old souls that come together in a perfect way in order to accomplish things. There's a reason why you met today, a reason why there's a camaraderie today, and you don't know one another, not really. But you don't have to. All of you have that which is in you, which is the essence of God. You have God inside. I have an invitation for some of you right now. It's difficult to even name it. Humans want titles. What's the channel about, they say. Give it a title, we'll feel better. <laughs> give it some words, give it some linear grounding by giving it a title. And somehow, then they can file it in some magic, logical filing cabinet and make it all right. <laughs> what if I said this is titleless? You're not going to like that. So I'll call it something. Completing the circle. Listen to me. That which is human is often very linear. All you can be is what you know and what has been. It is so difficult for you to step out of one thing into another when you don't know where you're stepping. If we told everyone here we need you to move into a, an area of reality that is different from yours, where you can't see the ground you're walking on but you have to trust it's there, or you're going to feel bigger than you are even though your physicality hasn't moved, or that you're going to be in two places at the same time, get used to it. Many of you would said. I don't think I'll do that today. There would be disorientation. There would be dizziness, perhaps. There would be this, there would be that. It doesn't suit you in the physical. I don't blame you. There is fear of these kinds of changes. When things are working for you, why change them? you tend to think in this fashion. It's understandable, totally. But as you think this way, you stay in a straight line. You live in a straight line. And the relationships that you have, all except for one or two, are in a straight line. Listen, you're not even aware 
of the linearity of the straight line. It starts early with your parents. There's communication from your mom, from your dad, to you and back. It's a straight line, A to B, B to A, A to B, B to A. They tell you to do one thing, you do it. The actionable items are in a straight line. The instructions are given, linear, in a straight line. You grow up. And the relationships you have with others, one to another, one singularity to another, one line to another. A straight line here, a straight line there, a straight line there. You're not aware of the unnaturalness of this. When you look into space, what do you see? Circles. <laughs> Spheres. Dear ones, the only straight lines you see in space are the ones you draw between constellations. It's not natural. When you look at how chemistry works in the human body, it's a closed system in a circle. Very few, if any, real straight lines. It's physics, it's in 3D. And yet it's built in a circle. The very life-giving fluid called blood pumps in a circle. And there you are. A to B. B to A. You get spiritual and it doesn't matter what the doctrine is. It doesn't matter what you believe. There is God and then there's you. And God is always enormous and huge and beautiful. And there you are, little. And even if you draw a relationship to God timidly, it's a straight line to the Almighty. Sometimes you're on your knees and on your faces. In a straight line to God. God is big, you're not. And then when you need help, it's help me, God. You talk to God, God talks to you in a straight line. You're not even aware of the circle. You go to those who are spiritual for help. It's the same way. All, everything, all that is, that is a relationship to you, whether it's professional or spiritual, tends to work in a straight line. All except one. If you start to have love in your life, it's magic. Whether it's human to human, human to child, human to animal, when you have love, you open the circle. And suddenly, everything is different. The love is, is an emotion, but it's more. Since it's the basic energy of the universe, it's enhanced because it's created. It doesn't come from the brain. It doesn't even come from the heart. It comes from the trilogy of the brain, heart, pineal. Innate is involved. Whole body experience. All cells are involved. You know that. When you fall in love, your chemistry is affected. The circle is complete. When you love an animal, when you love a child, they love you back and they hug you. You feel so complete. <laughs> The completeness you feel is a relaxation into the arms of love. It's a circle. Because it's returned in a way you might even say is beyond reality. You might even say it's multidimensional. You might say it's a quantum feeling. It, it comes back on yourself. The circle is complete. It keeps going. It gets enhanced. And then you love it. You love even more. 
There are those of you who are in love with the planet. You're called tree huggers. And while you're hugging the tree, the circle is complete. You feel that which is nature hugging you back, responding to you in a language you don't even know is there. That is multidimensional. When Gaia can speak to the human being in such a way that the human says, I can live in the forest and eat and be happy alone because I have the love of this planet and I feel the animals and the trees. I feel the birds in the sky all as one thing. And I'm in love with this. It's a circle. When you look at the directions on the planet, it's a circle. The points of the compass, it's a circle. When you look at that, what you call a zodiac, it's a circle. On and on and on. When you take a look at the construction of music, the circle of fifths, ninths, whatever you want to call it, it's always a circle. Every musician knows this. All around you are the circles. And yet, the relationship you have with God is still a straight line. You think you're stuck. You come here and you say, how can I do this? How can I do that? Some of you even go so far as to say, help me, God. Help me cry on. And what you're saying is here, I'm, I'm here and I'm helpless. Please do something to me. Oh, how linear. Ones in this room, I want to tell you something. Every single one of you right now who is in perhaps even marginal distress or curiosity or feels stuck has a circle inside you you have not connected yet. And the circle is with the creative source. And it's the circle of love that the cells will awaken. When it's completed, you will start to see this circle non-linear like everything else in this universe that works together. When you start connecting the circle, you'll understand that God is inside you and outside you. The linear human being thinks they're separate and apart from the creative source. That is how you're taught. When you go to the doctor, you're separate and apart from the doctor. The doctor tells you this and that. It's linear. You take a medicine. It's linear. You're there, it's there. It's going to help you if you're lucky. That's not a circle. Love is a circle. The more you give, the more it's returned. The bigger it gets, the more satisfying it becomes. The more you can touch your heart and say, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever, ever experienced. Whether you're in the forest, whether you're with another human, whether you're within your child, with your whether you're in love, it's different than being linear. And that is what you have here. The potentials are enormous. There are readers here that don't know they're readers yet. There are the ones who are completely and totally healed that don't know they're healed yet. Because the circle has not yet been complete. Are you ready? There's a wind passing through this place of spiritual purpose and healing that is ready to touch you, to make you feel more complete in the circle. Some of you are understanding this, and some of you are not. Crying, what do we have to do? I want you to relax and metaphorically understand that if you will then fall in love with that which is inside you and connected to the creative source, you'll stop being linear. The circle will start to be complete between that which is creation, that which is healing, that's with you, that's love, and the healing in your body will start. The balance will start to return. The purpose in your life will start to be known. 
the things that have happened recently to you, which, which have devastated you, will start to make sense, and you will stand in joy that they happened because you'll see a bigger picture of who you are. There's a wind passing through this place that is ready to put anyone in a circle who wants to complete it. I speak metaphorically, metaphysically, esoterically. I speak in concepts. There's the third language going on. There's a wind going through this place. And I want you to stop and feel it now because it's for you sitting in the chair. Do you dare feel it? Physically, perhaps you can feel it. It's really not physical. When love passes through cellular structure and completes the circle, life begins. Spiritual life can begin right now. For some of you who came for this in this place, we've never done this before, ever. Those who are watching and listening in a future time are starting to realize this is a very special channel. Now I want to get real quantum with the listener who is not here. I want you to take a moment and I want you to give intuitive energy for those sitting in the chairs. And you'll say, well, it's a little late, Cryon, because the ones who are listening are at a later time. This is now, this is then. And I'll say, oh, how linear. You're not in the circle, are you? You see, the circle is timeless. You help each other, even from past lives. It's bigger than you think. The process is more complex, and yet it's simple. Because love takes care of itself. We said it before. You don't have to understand the mechanics in order to appreciate them, feel them, and use them. That's the way love is. The essence of your healing, that which you came for, which was situational, the emotions you're asking for, all the things you've come with, when you connect the circle, will start to be solved. That's the message. And connecting the circle is not a linear thing. It's not something that is even what you would normally do. This is different. There are those who are going to go on to help a lot of people here if you connect the circle. That's what old souls are here for. There's a wind passing through this place. Just for a few more moments, I want you to grab it. Take it. Apply it to yourself and see in you the circle. Make it gold. Make it violet. Make it silver. Make it a gemstone. Make it anything you need to, metaphorically, for it to be pure. Make it shine and sparkle. Put it inside and keep it there. And never let go of the ring. The connection is with the Creator, which has always been with you, always. A little different tonight, isn't it? We'll see whether this recording makes it or not. Depending upon certain attributes that you don't know about. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Telling you about God inside. About a new energy for the planet. About your lineage and your future. Be peaceful with these things. For they are beautiful. And so it is.